Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Living in Alberta. In today's video, we're going to look at six reasons why you may want to avoid moving to Alberta. Hey, what's happening? My name is Kyle. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, we break down everything when it comes to moving to or living in Alberta. So if you do want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. Definitely click that notification bell, guys, because we are dropping new content every single week. And if you would like any help with real estate needs, I am a licensed realtor in the province. You can use this information on the screen right now. Reach out to me anyway, like, or even if you just have any specific questions, we'd love to hear from you. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Let's look at six reasons why you may want to avoid moving to Alberta. All right, guys, let's dive right into it. Let's take a look at number one. And Alberta is not really known for its lakes. And I know this is going to sit dear to the people from, who are moving here from Ontario. I know you guys have a ton of beautiful lakes out there. But in Alberta, we are not known for having the greatest lakes. Now, we do have a lot of beautiful lakes. If you go to the Rocky Mountains and you go to Lake Louise or you go to Moraine Lakes, they are stunning to look at. But when I'm talking about good lakes, I'm talking about lakes where you can do all the water sports, sit on the beach, go sea doing, go boating, go water skiing. Now in this central Alberta area where I am, there are quite a few lakes. We do have a really, really, really good one in Sylvan Lake. I think it's great for all of the water sports and stuff that we just talked about. It's one of the best in Alberta, I think, and it's been ranked as one of the best in Canada for that matter. We do have a bunch of other lakes around the area also, but and I know people might get mad at me for saying this, but in my opinion, they're not the greatest for swimming in and different things like that. I know I've tried swimming in a few of them. It wasn't the greatest experience. There's lots of gunk on the bottom of them. There's lots of seaweed. They're not the warmest lakes. I want you to swim in a lake. Oh, hell no. Run, bitch, run. So if having a lot of beautiful lakes and a lot of options to pick from is a priority for you or something that you really, really enjoy and you don't think maybe you could live without that, maybe you're coming from Ontario and you just love all the lakes there, Alberta may not be the place for you. <laughs> All right, let's get into number two and let's talk about the people. And I know you're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? He lives in Alberta. Why would the people be a negative? And I want to start off by saying that I love the people of Alberta. I love their grit. I love their no, not going to take any shit attitude. All right, now it's sale time. So remember, we don't take no, no shit from anyone. We've always kind of been the that middle child of the country. Where we're always getting in trouble. We don't always do what the rest of the provinces are doing. We offer a lot of resistance, a lot of pushback. I know Alberta is known as this conservative province. And I think that Alberta, it's a lot more forward thinking than you guys might think it is. But in Alberta, you are going to find a lot of people with a lot of different viewpoints. Well, I freaking die! Albertans are a little bit more conservative for sure. We kind of have that don't take any shit attitude and we kind of fall in line very last. Don't take shit from anyone. So just understand that if you are moving here, it's not like a lot of the other provinces. You're gonna find a lot of people thinking their own way. They have their own beliefs and they're okay with that. You can sit down and have a beer with them. You can talk about things. There's gonna be a lot of people, for example, if we're talking about what's going on in the media right now and in the world with the pandemic, there's tons of people who are for it here. And there's also tons of people who are against it here. So you can come to Alberta, you can be any way you wanna be, you can think any way you wanna think, but just understand that you're gonna run into a lot of opinionated people here who don't like being told what to do and have some very strong beliefs. She might have a different opinion, but that's okay. And I love that about Alberta. Now, even though you're gonna find a lot of people like that here, super friendly people, super accepting. Just don't move to Alberta thinking that you're gonna change everything. Remember why you are moving from where you're moving from. What did he just say? 
check the prompt. All right, let's move along right into number three. And you can't talk about the negatives about living in Alberta without talking about the extreme weather here. Now, extreme weather mainly applies to the winter time. Yes, we have very cold winters here. However, the last few years, it seems to be getting a little bit warmer. For example, this year, we didn't have any snow and we had plus temperatures up till about December 11th. Now, usually in Alberta, we have snow by Halloween and it's starting to get pretty cold by the beginning of November. I'm freezing my nuts off. Just when we thought everything was great, it was gonna be one of those warm winters. Boom, right before Christmas, we hit a cold snap of about three weeks. We had minus 30 with a lot of snow. Then it warmed up again, then it got cold again, then it warmed up again. <laughs> it got cold again so yes it happens that fast really extreme weather here in the winter time and something else to keep in mind about living in the central area of alberta is that it is known as hailstorm alley so the loose boundaries are kind of from high river down in the south up to red deer lacombe in the north east to the Saskatchewan border and then west out to the rockies but this area of alberta gets the most hail in the world which is a pretty crazy stat <laughs> Now, I don't want you to think that it's these crazy hailstorms all the time. I've only been affected by it one time in my life, and I've lived here since the mid 90s. One time, my truck, I forgot to get in the garage, and it got some pretty good hail damage. There has been some really big incidents. You know, in 2020, there was a huge hailstorm that hit the northeast side of Calgary and parts of Airdrie. It was the fourth largest natural disaster in Canadian history, which caused, I think it was $1.4 billion in insured damages. Don't quote me on that or fact check me on that. And some other things to keep in mind is that if there's forest fires in British Columbia, sometimes when that wind picks up nice or picks up the right way, we can get smoked out here in Alberta. So last summer, we probably had three weeks of pretty smoky conditions here, which kind of sucked because with one of the nicest summers that I can remember, we had plus 30 and even into the 40s for over a month here, I think. So it kind of sucked that there was so much smoke, but just be aware that if you're moving here, sometimes we can get not sometimes. A lot of the time we get some really cold winters and some really extreme weather here. All right, talking about extreme weather, that is a great segue into number four. And because of our four seasons and our different weather patterns and our extreme weather here, people can struggle with allergies and can struggle with headaches. So I'm a person that really struggles with allergies. I have a ton of allergies. Guys on the fire department where I used to work used to tease me all the time, call me bubble boy. A bubble boy? Yes, a bubble boy. I'm traumatized by it. That's why I don't work there anymore. I'm just kidding. But if you struggle with allergies, you will definitely struggle here in Alberta. So when that snow is melting and it's going from winter to springtime, when those snow molds, I'm allergic to snow molds, when those snow molds start getting released from underneath the snow, I go out for walks with my dogs and I'm pretty much farmer blowing the whole time. Pretty disgusting, I know, but it's the truth. And then as things start to green up here, the trees start to bloom, the the leaves start to pop, the flowers start to bloom, you can really struggle with all the pollen that's in the air. Now, when we talk about the extreme weather and it going from really warm to really cold, this is especially, you know, a big thing down in the southern areas around in the Calgary area where you get a lot of Chinooks where it can go from minus 20 to plus five in a matter of 24 hours. Lots of people who struggle with migraines, they struggle with migraines even more here in Alberta. A lot of the clients that I've helped moved here, ones that struggle with migraines, they say that because of the temperature changes here, their headaches are more often, or their migraines are more often, and they're also a little bit more extreme. Now, I don't get headaches at all. I don't think I've ever had a headache in my life unless I've drank too much and I've been hung over the next day. So I can't really comment on too much, but allergies, headaches, all these temperature changes, definitely something to keep in mind. Let's take a look at number five. And what a lot of people don't realize about Alberta is that we have a lot of highways and it is very spread out here. Alberta isn't really a very densely populated province. We only have 4.5 million people in the entire province. And I think 75% of that or 70% of that is in the Edmonton Calgary corridor. So needless to say, it is super spread out here. So you're gonna have to get used to highway driving. Now, somebody nerded out and they figured it out that if you put all the highways end to end in Alberta, you can make it past the moon. I think the stats are that out of all the highways in Canada, there's 28% of them in Alberta. So we have the most highways in the country. So it's very, very spread out here. And when that can really start to become an issue is when it gets to be winter time. That is one of the worst things in my opinion about winter times here is just the dangerous driving and the dangerous highways. They can be super stressful. Now I've had clients that have came out here more than one from the greater Toronto area 
and they were looking at moving to Alberta. They thought it was a great idea when they got out here. They just realized how spread out it was. Their words were exactly this, that it's way too spread out here. There is endless highways, endless driving. I really didn't realize how much I miss or how much I like the busyness of Toronto. There's no way I'm moving here. I'm heading back. I'm really sorry to waste your time. Bye, have a great time. So if you are someone who really enjoys a busier, more densely populated area that isn't so spread out this is something that you might want to think about something definitely that you might that you're going to want to take into consideration all right let's take a look at number six and alberta isn't really well known for its entertainment and its nightlife alberta is more of an outdoorsy province people who love to get outdoors love to live here shoulder width apart stay between the utter and the hawk it's a 32 belly option on two on two ready <laughs> Now, even our bigger cities like Edmonton and Calgary, if you compare them to other cities which they are often compared to in the country like Toronto and Vancouver and Montreal, Quebec, the nightlife really isn't that great there. Calgary ha probably has the busiest downtown out of all of these places, or in Alberta, sorry. And even then, after about six o'clock or five o'clock, whatever it is, 4.30 when people get off work, the downtown empties out quite a bit. So there isn't a ton of nightlife to pick from. Oh my God, I just got a mental picture. <laughs> there are some good places to go to, but there isn't a lot of options. There aren't a lot of shows and different things to take in. Alberta is definitely an outdoors person's paradise. No. This place is paradise. Lots of great hiking, lots of great skiing. Lots of open areas to go skidooing and quadding and dirt biking. So if you're into that kind of thing, Alberta is great for you 100%. But if you're looking for a place with really, really good nightlife with lots of options and lots of entertainment and being outdoors really isn't your thing, Alberta may not be the place for you. All right guys, that is all I got for you. I hope you got some value out of that. You might be wondering why in the heck is a realtor telling us that we may not want to move to Alberta. I just want to be straight up with you guys, give you guys some you know, potential reasons that could be negatives. Obviously this is all perspective. So what might be a negative to some person might be a positive to another person. So if you did get some value guys, make sure you hit the like button. Definitely click that notification bell and please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you would like any help with your real estate needs or you have any specific questions, use this information on the screen, guys. Reach out to me. We'd love to hear from you. All right, I will see you guys next week. Cheers.